this bill is, is very simple, very straightforward. It allows young adults, students in our state universities or on community college campuses, to carry frightening devices like mace, pepper spray, um, stun guns, a taser if they choose, a uh, product called the Tiger Lady, which is a scratching device that collects DNA uh, when you're lunging at the attacker. Um, simple items like that for personal protection that are meant and designed purposely not to kill or permanently injure somebody. They're meant to repel somebody, possibly incapacitate somebody. What it doesn't do is allow people to carry flash grenades, um, shoulder-mounted bazookas that shoot beanbags, uh, industrial lasers. I've heard it all as I've defended this bill. And uh, I think those arguments are actually quite unfortunate, in some cases despicable, and they actually discredit this process and what the bill actually does. Uh, these are items that are not available to the general public to begin with, and they're not marketed commercially for purchase for personal protection, which is one of the reasons I asked Senator Allen to run her amendment to clarify that these items are specifically designed to and intended to only uh, be marketed to the general public for personal protection. Um, not only does it allow students to carry, it allows faculty to carry a personal protection device. Um, believe it or not, when I first started my research on this bill, I learned that the Arizona Board of Regents had a policy that basically outlawed everything. You can't carry any type of personal protection device unless it was an over-the-counter uh, spray for self-defense that did not contain an ingredient called OC or uh, oleoresin capsicum, which is the red pepper extract that goes into maces and pepper sprays that make them effective. Now, to their credit, they fixed that problem. In uh, February, they held a board meeting and actually updated their policy to um, allow that ingredient to be in the over-the-counter over sprays and, uh, and maces, if you will, that, that students can carry, so I appreciate that. But it still doesn't fix the problem. There's a lot of options out there. Um, somebody may not want to carry pepper spray. They may have an allergic reaction to pepper spray. Uh, pepper spray isn't easy to shoot all the time. It may go off in your purse and you know, affect 10 people around you. There's a lot of reasons to allow state-of-the-art, safe, non-lethal type devices to be carried in a woman's purse or a man's pocket or in a backpack. And um, especially with our university campuses, which are sprawling all over the state. You know, I went to Arizona State University, and I, I graduated from the East Campus on Mesa Gateway's uh, airport. And it was lonely out there. Um, it wasn't a college campus with the protection of the police department and all the students that were there. It was actually uh, quite rural. And um, I think of what's going on with the spreading of the campuses throughout the downtown, the Cronkite School of Journalism where my sister went. Um, you know, we have students walking out of class in the downtown at 11 o'clock at night. Um, and they're not walking out into other students. They're walking out into possibly folks who are looking to do harm. And uh, I think that those adults who are walking out of those buildings should be afforded the right to protect themselves if they're attacked, robbed, approached by, or assaulted by somebody who wants to do wrong. Um, this bill doesn't give bad people the right to assault good people. This gives good people the right to defend themselves against bad people. Bad people are still going to carry illegal weapons. They're still going to commit assault. They're not going to look at this and say, wow, now I can carry a stun gun and I can go assault somebody. They already do that. This allows us, my daughters, your children, students in our state, the ability to protect themselves, the very basic right to protect themselves. We're not talking about guns. I would have run a bill for guns if I had wanted to deal with guns. That's been asked for already, and I think we've seen how that's gone historically. These are very basic, simple personal protection devices. I almost am a little bit embarrassed that it's turned into such a, a heated argument because these are, these are things that you can go buy at the drugstore in some cases. Not scary. Uh, 